Okay, at this point, you should probably save as, and we're going to save it as version 2. And that's a good way to go with 3D modeling. Like, you always just sign it as a new one, just in case. Hit Z on the keyboard to get back into colors, and you're like, oh, man, that's painful to look at. <laughs> Pretty cool looking, though, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold this model. And this is very easy. There is another meditative operation, though. Um, the operation is this. Quantarion is not a good movement variation. We want XYZ Euler. Okay. So for all bones, we're going to switch them over to XYZ Euler. Oops. So I'm just clicking on a bone, choosing that. And I'm only choosing those one bones that I actually used as far as the movement value is concerned. you don't know which ones they are, they're the ones that first initially go into the design. That's why I chose those specifically to use. All right, perfect. Now, if we happen to come across another one, we can change it as needed, but let's go like this. We have a root bone, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to rotate in pose mode up, negative 90 degrees. And as long as you know 90 and negative 90, you're pretty much set on this. Okay, this one, I'm going to fold, and I want to fold it in X, and you see how you can see the color right here that dictates how I'm going to fold it. So this one's going to be negative 90. Now here's a good example of, oops, that didn't turn out very good. All right. So for this thing, I'm going to hit tab. Tab again, find out what the name of this bone is. It is exactly 11, not 21. <laughs> so by hitting tab, it goes flat like this. Right, don't freak out, because once you go into pose mode, it goes back. So when you hit tab, you can go back into object mode and click on this object. In edit mode, I want to remove 21 and go to 11. This is only if it went bad. Here's how you fix it. See? Looks good now. So when you hit tab, don't freak out. It just lays out the model. Everything's okay. And when you go to pose mode, you have to be on the armature to go to pose mode. All right, so this one, that one looks a lot better, negative 90, this one, rotate, negative 90, And you can see the advantage here. I mean, I can really show the client how it folds up and how it looks. Uh, and, you know, there's not many people in this field that uh, take the time to do that. They, I mean, they have the uh, fancy operation. They usually have, like, fancy software that's, like, really, really expensive to be able to do the same thing that we're doing for free. And that's the key to being a good artist, is be able to utilize your skills as an artist while maintaining a technical side that not many artists understand. If you can do that, you'll get work every time.
But the minute you say that's hard, the minute that you say, well, you know, I can't do that, that's sort of mentally emitting defeat. And you shouldn't do that to yourself. You can do it. And you can see here, I'm just mentally going in here and changing these to negative 90. In fact, I don't even have to have a positive 90 at this point. Sometimes it's hard to select. Like this joint right here is kind of hard to get to. So I have to rotate the model a little bit. And sometimes for this one, um, I don't close the box. I kind of leave it a little bit haphazard like this. So the client can see that it folds in, but what it looks like when it's kind of open. They also get an understanding that this is an actual 3D model that they can rotate around. Okay, so um, see how the root bone sticks out like that? It allows me to basically go in here and move the model up. I'll hit one on the number pad to move it up onto this line. And then I'll also move it into the center of the scene. So doesn't that look nice? I mean, really. Okay, make sure you save your model. Let's save as three. Let's go on to the next video.